welcome to Artistic Adventures. So I want to thank you guys so much for voting. Uh, in our last video, I'd ask you to vote on uh, what you wanted to see me do next. And it's been kind of overwhelming. Uh, Queen Elizabeth, you guys are into the Queen mode. We did get, uh, let's see, one for Harley Quinn and three mermaid dolls and two for Princess Mulan and one for Fashion Royalty. And I have had people mention these other two, so I'm, I'm keeping them on the list. But these are sort of uh, giving me an idea of where we're going to go. I'll do all of them eventually, but we'll do the Queen Elizabeth doll next and uh, possibly after that Mermaid doll. Although, I did see this picture. Yeah, I saw this Cleopatra doll picture, and I've always been intrigued with Cleopatra. She's one of my favorite icons of the past so yeah I think I'm gonna have to do this doll somewhere along the line I'm sure you guys will enjoy that but for now we're going to get into this video which is going to be part one of our Elizabeth the first doll series and this will be history of course and some planning this is a picture of Elizabeth on her coronation she was 25 years old and she was born in 1533, lived until 1603, and became queen in 1558. She served for 44 years on the throne, and when she died, she was still queen. She died without an heir, which is interesting, and we'll get into some more history as we go along. If you haven't seen the two Elizabeth movies that Kate Blanchett is in, they are excellent. And this is a picture of her in one of the many fabulous costumes that she wore in that in those movies and it explains a lot about how she came to rule and uh, some of her victories there was also a movie that featured Helen Mirren this is a picture of her in costume and you'll notice uh, that that really beautiful fan of uh, lace and jewels behind her uh, that's really intriguing to me this is a picture of a doll that I found, a uh, re recreation of Elizabeth. Uh, also kind of shows that sort of uh, lace and then the, the more elaborate loop of lace and jewels behind her. And then this is a painting. We're going to look at several paintings. I just want to give you some idea of the consistency of what, what we see with Elizabeth costumes. Certainly that lace ruffle around the neck is very Elizabethan and, and the, the big hoop behind her. Uh, she frequently wore these mutton st sleeves, these really huge sleeves, and we'll incorporate that into our doll. She loved pearls. A lot of pearls are always seen around her. And she had, uh, of course, the red hair and the um, beautiful jewels that were part of her her uh, court ensemble are displayed in a lot of these pictures and we'll try to do some interesting things with that but the main thing is that uh, the dresses were you know wide skirt they had the mutton sleeves the lace ruffle they're very very elaborate and in that way she is similar to Marie although she had a much happier rule <laughs> and end than Marie did uh, she and Marie are two of the most famous queens in history, but for different reasons. She was much beloved by the people, uh, you know, pretty much up until she died. So this is actually her court dress that she was, that she wore in her coronation. And you'll see that she wore a lot of brocade. All right, so let's get started. Um, I did sketch out sort of the idea that I wanted based on uh, some of the pictures that I'd seen of costumes that Mar that uh, Elizabeth wore. See, I'm still saying Marie from the last video. Uh, so um, this is kind of what I'm going for. I'm going to do an overskirt that has a more ruffled underskirt and um, the big mutton sleeves, the bodice that's straight across the bust and then comes down to the point. And then I want to use some lace, uh, the ruched lace around the collar, because that's so Elizabethan. And then uh, my idea is to try to do this uh, sort of elaborate thing behind her head that stands up. Um, I think that was also very Elizabethan, or very Elizabeth Queen one. So I want to try to do that, and then probably I'll have a, a trailing sort of cape 
thing behind her and uh, some sort of headpiece. She kind of liked these headpieces that came down into a point may, or maybe some pearls. Not quite sure yet, but this is kind of how I work. I, you know, kind of have this vague idea of how it is. And then I start looking at all the supplies that I have on hand. So um, I have this doll, which is uh, fairly pale. And, you know, Queen Elizabeth did wear that white makeup. And um, this doll's, you know, probably about the closest to that. So anyway, I think I'll use her. She was the model in our Marie video and now she's going to get her own video <laughs> so we'll be using her and uh, for hair I did have this fiber alpaca fiber on hand it's yeah it's brown but it does have a little red tint to it so what I think I'll do is once I get it combed out this is uh, raw so once I get it combed out I think I'll give it just maybe a quick wash of a, of a red hair dye uh, or a little to get it a little bit more of that orangey color that we see in the pictures that was her hair not as red as uh, poison ivy <laughs> red but more of a red and I think this is it's almost there actually it's just a little bit too brown so that's the fiber for the wig and then I pulled out some things I'm really trying to use supplies I already have because I'm spending so much money making videos and not really getting anything back so I'm really using this supplies that I already have, like stuff I picked up at thrift stores. So I really like this because a lot of the dresses she wore, wore were brocade in the pictures. So I thought this was a really pretty, and also it's got a small enough print that it, it looks appropriate for the doll size. And then, and I think this would be like the overskirt. And then uh, I would use this for the underskirt. So that would be, uh, the this would be the ruffled part underneath. And then um, this, which is really nice, and it has sort of sparkles in it, would be a nice thing that I can use for that stand-up collar, uh, the big round thing behind her head. I, I think if I use wire to hold it around the edges, I could glue this to it. So that's kind of my thought on that. And then I pulled out a lot of different lace from my uh, Deb Trove. You know, my friend Deb sends me all these la beautiful lace. And I love it because it, it's it's sort of uh, vintage looking anyway, so it kind of fits with this older dress look. But I pulled out more of the beige look, although that's really not the right color, I don't think. Because I want to have um, some lace around the collar also, and I'm going to have to stiffen it, you know, and, and then really, really gather it to get the look that we want. Uh, I'm not really sure which of these I'm going to use. It kind of depends when I get there what what looks appropriate and how how I can get it to to become stiffer uh, but these are some of the the laces that I pulled out that were beige uh, also she's gonna have lace around the cuffs of her sleeves this was a really nice piece there's not that much of it so I probably won't be able to use that but we'll use some lace around her sleeves and um, maybe you know some other places and that's why I pulled out several different things I like to have these out where I can use, you know, sort of look at them as I'm going, and and if I feel like one is, is going to work, then I'll use that. I do have this ribbon also that I bought to make Christmas things that is, kind of goes with this theme, sort of the goldish color. I'm not sure exactly if I'll use that or not, but I like it because it's got the wire in it, and it, it might come in useful. So... Uh, we'll be doing uh, the dress kind of in that fashion. Uh, we'll do shoes, we'll do some pantaloons and hose because we don't want to have her without something under the fabulous dress we're going to make. Uh, and uh, something, you know, that's appropriate to the period. It'll probably be similar to what we did for Marie because they're, you know, not that far apart in history. So um, that's kind of how we're going to get started. The next part uh, that we'll do is we're going to do her face up and her wig because I learned a lesson from Marie that uh, I want to start going back to that process of doing the face up and the hair and then we'll do the costume and save the styling of the hair until the last and somewhere along the line and there we'll also we'll do some shoes and some underwear and, and things like that. So anyway, this is uh, you know, a little history and getting us started in prep work to show you how this is all going to come together. Um, 
you know, I don't really know exactly how it's going to turn out. I never do. That's the adventure. So <laughs> stick with me and hopefully all this will turn out great. So we've got lots coming up with all the videos it's going to take to make this entire costume. There's lots of elements to it, you know, everything from jewelry to shoes. So make sure you subscribe so you won't miss a thing. Thanks. Bye.